This is one of multiple videos discussing SDN, network programmability, network automation, overlays and related technologies. We can see the fail mode for bridge zero by using the command OVS VSCTL get fail mode. Nothing is shown at the moment. That mode hasn't been set. And if we look at the flows of BR0 by dumping the flows, you can see that traffic goes to the normal pipeline. So at the moment, when we look at OVS VS CTL show, we can see that there is no connection to the controller and the normal port is being used. In other words, the switch is acting as a traditional switch. Let's see if the PCs can ping each other. These PCs have been configured to use DHCP, so the NAT cloud has allocated an IP address to the PCs. So this is the second Ubuntu server, that one there. Here's the third Ubuntu server, ifconfig eth0. That's its IP address, so can the one Ubuntu server ping the other, yes it can. And can three ping two, yes it can. So I'll leave those pings going. They can ping each other. Let's have a look at the Windows PC. It's got an IP address of this. So can it ping 192.168.122.80 as an example, yes it can. So it can ping the one Ubuntu PC, and it can ping the other one. So I'll set this as a continuous ping. So these devices connected to the open V switch switch can ping each other. So what I'll now do is configure the switch to talk to the controller, and then I'll break the connection to see what happens. So let's have a look at Ubuntu one. As you can see here, Open Daylight is running on that Ubuntu server. So what we can do on the Open vSwitch switch is get it to talk to the controller. The controller has this IP address. I manually configured Ubuntu one with that IP address. So we can use the command OVS VSCTL set controller BR0. That's our bridge. And I'm gonna point it to the controller on port 6633. So previously, that's what the, the flow table looked like. If we do that command again, notice a lot of flows have been added to the switch by the controller. The switch is using OpenFlow 1.3 to communicate with the controller. Notice we have this entry as an example, sending traffic to the controller, and there are a whole bunch of other entries as well. The command OVS VSCTL show also shows us that we have a connection to the controller now on port 6633, the OpenFlow port, and the connection is true. So we are currently connected to the controller. The Windows device is able to ping. Pings are continuing. And we can see something similar on the two Ubuntu PCs. They can ping one another, even though we've moved to OpenFlow. So again, we've got a connection to the controller. Connection is true. Flows are shown in the flow table. We can see how long they've been in the flow table. These flow entries are in table zero. So what I'll do now is shut down the connection to the controller on the Cisco switch. So on the Cisco switch, I'll go on to gigabit 00 and shut the port down. What you'll notice is the ping still succeed. So our Ubuntu hosts are still able to ping one another and the Windows PC is able to ping them. When we look at the flow table of the switch, however, notice no flow entries exist. OVS VS CTL show shows us that we don't have a connection to the controller. So let's put that here. 
And on the Cisco switch, I'll no shut the interface. So on the open V switch switch, can it ping the controller? At the moment, it's not able to ping the controller. Got to wait for spanning tree to converge and interfaces to come up. So show IP interface brief. Interfaces are up on the Cisco switch. Notice the pings are now succeeding. So if we look at OVS VS CTL show, what you'll notice is we still don't have a connection to the controller. Notice we lost a ping here. But now we do have a connection to the controller. And if we look at the flow table, we can see all the flows that have been programmed by the controller. So let's do that again. Gigabit zero zero. Before I shut it down, we can ping the controller, shut the port down, look at the open flow table, no entries in the table. We have lost our connection to the controller. So do that once more, no shut it. Might take it a while once again before the flow entries are added back to the switch. That once again depends on what's happening here. So show spanning tree. Notice the port is learning, still learning. So we've got to wait for that spanning tree connection to go forwarding before the open V switch switch is able to talk to the controller. It's now forwarding. So now we have our flow entries displaying and we lost one ping on the Windows host. So flow entries are back. Once again, I could shut the port down to put it back to traditional switching. That once again may take a while, but there you go. It's now gone back to traditional routing and switching. Okay, so what happens if we change the mode? Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.